Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another makeup artist vlog. I have a mix of both makeup artistry stuff and also personal things as well. So definitely go ahead and stay tuned. This is gonna be a wild ride for this weekend. Right now I am getting ready for a bridal preview. I have a client coming over at 10. It is currently nine right now. So about an hour until she shows up. If you guys didn't see my last vlog or I guess follow me on Instagram, I've been really feeling stuck in a rut recently. And I do this like probably once every year to be totally honest. And I guess there's just a lot of things that have been happening happening in my life um, personally and also business wise too. I've been struggling with my mom's health for the last month or so and that's what's really been getting me down but I think she's doing okay now. Then I also am freaking out about going to esthetician school but not because I'm actually going to school. It's because of the fact that I have no idea what I'm going to do about my finances because the schooling unfortunately goes on Saturdays so I can't take any Saturday weddings for about nine months and I'm freaking out about it. I'm not going to lie. My life's been really hectic recently so that's why I've kind of been stressing out and my mental health just has not been there but I'm feeling a little bit better with this weekend okay it's about 20 minutes before my client shows up first thing that I like doing is going in with disinfectant wipes and I'll just wipe off my entire vanity just to make sure that everything is nice and clean Then I'm just setting up my station. Now I did actually get two new eyeshadow palettes, which I'm really excited about. So I got the Natasha Denona Glam Palette, which is the more cool toned neutral eyeshadow palette. And then I also got the ColourPop Smoke and Roses Palette. I honestly love ColourPop shadows. They're one of the best quality, but most affordable eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> And this is a silicone mat that I got off of Amazon. Also this set style bag and most of the containers inside of this are also from Amazon as well. And they're all linked in my Amazon storefront in the description bar. And this is my trash can here. Need the brush belt. And I have lash glue, um, scissors, and also the lash applicator that I'll just put on my station. And these are the dog poo bags. I use them for trash bags. I've also seen people use pop-up car trash cans for trash cans. So that is the current station setup that I have going on. And then this is my chair that I have. I have one that is by the same brand that's linked in my Amazon storefront, but they discontinued this specific chair. Then I have all my candles in my house lit. I have this one right here. And then in the front entryway, I also have another candle lit. I just like to have as many candles lit as possible because I feel like it creates a really nice soothing ambiance. Mainly like you're not just walking into somebody's house, like you actually are going somewhere and getting a really relaxing, like luxury experience. I'm just gonna wait till my client shows up. Oh my god guys, bridal preview went so freaking great. Funny story, but she is actually the hairstylist of one of my really good friends. We talked about the beauty industry and it was real fun, but yeah, she was such a sweet person and honestly like I absolutely am obsessed with the way that her makeup turned out and she was absolutely thrilled with it. And she also had the most perfect skin in the world too, which made it super easy. Right now I am working on printing out a consultation sheet for her so I can write down all the products that I use. Also here's my plug that I do in every single one of these videos. I do sell all three of these templates on my shop Julie Ruby website. I have an accounting template which basically looks like this. Um, it keeps track of your income, your expenses, and also your mileage so then you can just give it to your accountant at the end of the year. Then I also have the bridal consultation template which I'm filling out right now. So you put the client's name up top and then it also has like all these categories for different products. Then I also included a face chart at the very end of it too just in case anybody wants to actually do a face chart. Then my most popular selling one is the bridal contract template. So I'm only going to show you the first page because otherwise it would kind of defeat the point of selling it. <laughs> and it pretty much prevents you from having to think about it yourself because I know how hard it was when I first began to try to figure out what wording I had to use in the contracts and what all I should include. All the things in red are things that you can flip out if you are okay and happy with the wording that I have. But keep in mind that everything is completely customizable. So you can change out or add any sort of phrases that you want to. It's basically just like a Word document. If you go into shop Julie ruby.com then this is where all the templates are it's a pretty basic website i didn't get too creative with it but just go into templates and then all of them are for sale right here in general i feel like as makeup artists we are automatically gravitated towards spending all this money on our makeup kits but we really forget to spend money on back-end procedures too like websites advertising things to keep track of expenses income our contracts everything like we just forget to spend money on the most important things when it comes to being a makeup artist and that's the business side of it. Gotta go get my template here. Also with these, you technically can fill them out online if you want to, but I personally like to handwrite things. This one's getting all up in my face. I know I'm gonna play with you afterwards, I promise. I know you've been cooped up for so long. 
It is such a freaking gorgeous day outside. Ooh, where's the ball? There it is. It has seriously been doom and gloom for such a long time that I'm so happy to have it be sunny and 58 degrees today. Yes, it's not 70, but I'll take it. I have to head out to Ulta after this to go get some lashes for this weekend. I also have to pick up setting spray, I think, too. I'm on the road right now. I'm filming on my phone right now, so sorry about the video and also the audio quality. I'm headed to Ulta. I have to check to see if they have my lashes in stock now. The last time I checked for the Ardell Naked lashes that I usually get, they did not have the right kinds. If you guys haven't been working with the Ardell Naked lashes for a while, the styles and the quality of them are very inconsistent. And then after that, I am actually going to head to McAllister's, which is a deli near me. They have the best ultimate nachos and I am craving them right now. I did bring my laptop with me because I'm about to have a super productive afternoon of editing. I've been slacking, guys. I've been slacking on not uploading videos for like nine days now, which is very unheard of for me. So I'm pretty much forcing myself out of my bubble and forcing myself to try to do something productive. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, just to update you guys what's been going on. I went to Ulta, I only grabbed like three things. One of which was a chapstick that I had to put in my car. And then number two, I found the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I've been using that in a place of like higher end setting sprays recently because it's actually performed really well. Third, um, I ended up getting like a rosemary scalp oil, that one that went viral all over TikTok and it's at Ulta. So I decided to try it. I was trying to find the Ardell Naked Lashes and that did not work. I have been to three different places now to find these naked lashes and I cannot find them anywhere. Anyways, after Ulta, I went to McAllister's, got myself some nachos as you guys saw. I was able to edit a video or at least part of it. I still have to go home and edit more. Then after that, I headed over to Marshall's because my husband wanted me to grab him hand soap. Hand soap is like the most affordable at Marshall's, I swear. Then I ended up picking up the dry shampoo that I used because they had that there and then I also decided to try a new shampoo and conditioner. And then I ended up coming to Walgreens. This was the only spot near me that I hadn't tried for lashes yet, but they didn't have any. Um, so I just bought more the 421s. I also had to pick up a white eyeliner because I had a bride recently who requested to do a white eyeliner in her waterline. It's not really requested that often, but I didn't want to spend like $20 on a white eyeliner that I'm hardly ever going to use. Yeah, I'm going to go back home though and I will talk to you guys when I get there. Okay, I'm back home now. I love the fact that I haven't actually cleaned up like any of my stuff in the bridal preview. All of it's still here. I'm going to try to depot my eyeshadows out of this um, Smoke and Roses palette. And then I think I'm going to keep all all of these in this Natasha Denona palette just so I can actually have like the brand name on here. You can technically pop all these out on the back because they're just magnetic in here. These are also magnetic in case you guys didn't know. I did a DIY hack and I'm actually using a fridge magnet. This is a dolphin. <laughs> And I have to put a tissue in between it. So if you just put it on here, it'll actually take out the eyeshadows. I'm gonna get out the shimmer shadows and the matte shadows. I'm just gonna take them out of here. Okay, I know I need to get this white out of here because like this white is so, so old. And I'm also gonna get rid of this cream color right here too, because the other palettes have this in it. And I wanna get rid of the gray in here as well, because I have a gray tone brown in the other palette. And I'm not keeping any of these pans. These are the Artist Kit Company pans, but I have like a lot of refills and they kind of started rusting on the back. So I just wanna get rid of them and I'm gonna get rid of this one too. Okay, so I have a empty pan from the Artist Kit Company here. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine these two Cosette shadows because they look almost identical to each other. And I know both of them will actually fit into one of these. I know almost all of these can go. Okay, I got everything out of the pans and I threw away the ones that I don't need. So I'm not gonna lie, repressing is not for the faint of heart. It's not something that I think everybody should do. If you think it's going to be a huge help to you, then definitely go ahead and do it. But it is a lot of time and it's a lot of money as an investment as well, because you do have to buy all the tools to do this. So the things that I usually like to have with me when I repress things is number one, you have to have some sort of press 
and this is called an arbor press this is a quarter ton one and i totally recommend getting the one ton one but i goofed and read the amazon listing wrong but the difference between them is that the one ton one you can use more pressure and more force to really press the shadows down into the pans you also need a clear film of some sort this is what it looks like and i linked all this stuff on my amazon storefront it's linked in the description bar just to let you guys know i did buy the artist kit company molds there's a little piece that fits here and then also here depending on what pan size that you get. They perfectly fit these pans though, which are all sold on the Artist Kit Company website. Then I also have sheets of paper. Now the guy that runs the Artist Kit Company uses plastic bags. I just use pieces of paper because I find it a little bit easier. You want to scrape out the pan entirely and I'm putting it on the sheet of paper so like it's really finely milled like this. So I have one in there and then I'm going to put the second in there too. So now I'm just taking my spatula and then crushing them up. It's not all going to be perfect, but at least as perfect as possible. You want to stick the pan down into the mold and then put the top on there. And I'm going to press down so then it shifts all the way to the bottom. And then I usually fill the powder pretty much to the top of this mold here, maybe a little bit under. Remember, you want it to come out as even as possible, so I'm trying to put it in all the corners. And then I'm coming over here with the Arbor Press. I usually like to put a notebook or some sort of cardboard underneath it. And then here is where this plastic film comes into play. I stick it on top. Then you take the top of the mold, put that on top. And then all you're gonna do is then push down with this handle with pretty much all the force that you have. And then all I'm gonna do is just push it all the way through. I just tap it off a little bit and then that is pretty much what my shadow looks like. Depotting is such a mess but if you guys really want to do this that's pretty much how you repress all your eyeshadows. I'm gonna go ahead and do this with a couple other shimmer colors. Okay I'm finally done organizing the shadows. I don't know if I'm 100% happy with them but this will at least do for now. So what I have is a whole bunch of the matte eyeshadows into here. Then this one has the pink and peach kind of tones. I had to do one row of mattes and then one row of shimmers. And then I did this one, which has all shimmers inside of it. And they're more of the warm tone slash champagnes. And then I labeled all of them on the top. So then they look like this in here. Now I have a mess to clean up. So um, that's about it for today. Good morning, guys. I just got up, took a shower. I'm cleaning brushes right now. I have my dish soap and olive oil combo in this dish. Now you guys always ask me what the right proportions are for this. I usually do about an 80-20, so 80% Dawn dish soap and then 20% of olive oil. And I kind of just eyeball it. All I'm gonna do is dip my brushes into the mixture. Not very much, just a little bit. Twirl it around in my hand and then kind of bring it out until the water runs clear. And then I set my brushes with the bristles facing down, lead up on a wall. That's the best way for brushes to dry. So I will be doing this for a little bit. Okay, all done with the brushes. Right now, I'm sending out an email to my bride that I met with yesterday, asking her how everything held up on her and also if she wanted to make any changes. I do usually follow up with my brides right after the bridal preview, like the day after. The most important thing in this job is to be as prepared as she possibly can. So I just said, good morning. It was so great getting to meet you. I wanted to follow up to see how the makeup held up all day yesterday and if there are any changes to make. That's pretty much all I say in an email, just so I can be better prepared for the wedding day. So that's just a tip for you guys if you're doing weddings. to Target. Anybody else found issues with like not being able to find the Ardell Naked Lashes? I know a bunch of you guys are going to be like, okay, well, why don't you just go onto Ardell's website and purchase them with a pro discount? <laughs> you need an esthetician's license or a cosmetology license to be able to get approved for their pro discount. And I don't have either. That is why I don't go onto their website and just buy it. Yeah, wish me luck. Hopefully I can find some at Target. Yes, guys, I had to stop at Crumble Cookie. They are so expensive, but they're so good. I got 
all of these. Dolce de Leche one, maple brown sugar one, I think that's what it is. Then I got the chocolate chip and also the brownie one too. Besides that though, guys, I finally freaking found my lashes. I bought up all the ones that they have. These are the 420s that I was looking for. I get the fluffier versions because if you don't get the fluffier versions, then they look really plasticky and they're really hard to apply. So I picked up three packs, so I should be good for the next few weddings that I have. And I'm gonna just try to use them a little bit more sparingly. Then I think about two vlogs ago, it was one or two vlogs ago, I wanna say, but I was looking for the tree hut scrubs in Ulta. And for some reason I couldn't find them, but I found them in Target. So I wanted to pick up a body scrub. I just got the vanilla one. I hate when you're about to leave and there's like a perfect pull through spot and then somebody parks right in front of you before you start to pull out. It's great. Now I got to reverse. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to get going. Um, cause I got to get home and then edit some videos. Cause that definitely needs to happen. Okay guys, I am back. Um, I ended up posting a Instagram reel for the first time in like over a week. I haven't literally been keeping up with Instagram because I kind of got stuck in a rut, like a mental rut for a little bit. And I just haven't had the energy to post on Instagram, on YouTube or any other social network. Network. And now I'm getting ready to do all the touch-up kits and just prep for my wedding tomorrow I only have five people tomorrow, which is really nice So I'm just gonna overlay some music and just do a little montage of me prepping my kit Okay guys, I got all the touch-up kits together. I have all my five people plus one extra touch-up kit just in case somebody else wants added on. Well guys, it is 5.50 in the morning. I woke up before my alarm clock because I could not sleep last night. I'm so glad that I only have five people today. Like I don't think I can mentally handle anymore. But yeah, today's gonna be a really long day because I'm doing this wedding this morning and I am actually attending a wedding that's going to be about like, I think an hour and a half out of town or something like that. But yeah, so I'll probably will get back like really late. I'm gonna try to get some clips of that wedding too, but I'll probably just get it on my phone. Phone. I'm gonna get myself ready and then I'll go ahead and talk to you guys when I'm leaving. Okay, I am dressed and ready to head out. I have my brush belt, my makeup kit, chair in case I need it. Don't know what the setup's gonna be like because I'm going to somebody's house today. Then I have my camera and also a light that's on the top of it just so I don't have to bring my whole entire lighting system. And then I have my tripod as well. Luckily, it is going to be 70 degrees today, but I don't think it's gonna be very sunny. I think it's supposed to be overcast today, but hey, I didn't have to wear a jacket when I left the house today, so that's all I care about. I have a little under a 20 minute drive. Hopefully it'll be a very chill wedding. I'll bust it out really quickly and then I'll be ready to go for the wedding I'm attending later. Okay, I'm here right now. Um, it's seriously so early. I feel like I'm having really bad anxiety problems, honestly, that I have to like work through thinking about maybe going to like some sort of therapist or something because I have had really bad anxiety before each and every one of my weddings, like throughout this whole entire year pretty much. And I don't know if it's just been past trauma that's happened. <laughs> or if it's just me being nervous, it's almost like the same feeling that I had when I first started doing weddings. I think it's a lack of confidence issue to be completely honest. I mean, I realistically know that I am gonna be fine and I can accomplish whatever, but yeah, I just don't know why, but my anxiety has been like really, really freaking bad. Yeah, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and answer some emails and messages because I need to do that really quickly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and head in. Real me to get it going. Sweet talking like you mean it, but you're making it so complicated. I hate it. Every time I get too close, you push me away. Don't want to stick, telling me you don't want any obligations. And how you hate them. Don't call me just cause you're lonely. You know you're killing me slowly. No, maybe I'm your 
matters Maybe I'm not I think about it way too much And every single thought Is making me Making me Give me something Straight from your heart All this insecurity Is tearing me apart You're making me Sleepless You're making me sleepless Yeah I keep losing in this game I'm playing pretend I don't wanna be a 4am I'm suffocating Just by waiting on you So Don't call me just cause you're lonely You know you're killing me slowly Nah Maybe I'm yours Maybe I'm not I think about it way too much And every single thought Is making me Sleepless Making me Give me something straight from your heart All this insecurity is tearing me apart You're making me Don't you know that I would 
Hey guys, I am done with my wedding. It went super well. Literally everybody's makeup looked absolutely stunning. I actually love the fact that everybody asked me for different things. I just really need to get back in the swing of things and work on my timing. I'm taking up the full 45 minute application period anymore to do makeup and I really need to get down to my 40 minutes again. Maybe it's because I've been nitpicking a little bit more and I really just want my work to be fully solidified before I let people leave the chair. And it's frustrating when you can't do the level of work that you want in the amount of time that you're given. Started at 7.45 and then ended at 11.30 and 11.30 was exactly when I was supposed to end the applications and then it took me like about 15 minutes to clean up and so I left it around 11.45. I'm just heading home right now. Um, my husband and I are going to go pick up some Mexican food. Okay, I officially had something to eat. I'm just in the process of getting off all the oils on my face. I need to borrow some oil blotting sheets from my makeup kit <laughs> and then I'm gonna reset my face with powder. I seriously get so oily sometimes and it like really bothers me. Look at how much oil is like coming off of my face. Like that's disgusting. And I've had brides that have asked me like how did they combat oils? But to be totally honest, like there's only so much you can do about it. And if you have makeup on your face, like it's naturally just going to happen. And I'm just taking a powder puff and resetting everything. I'm gonna add a little bit more blush because that kind of went away. I'm just gonna reset my face. And then I just need to do some eyeshadow. I have on the eye makeup here. I just did like a smokier wing sort of look. Put some shimmer on the lids, got false lashes on. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna curl my hair, clean my kit and get ready to leave. Guys, it is Sunday morning and there is no words of how freaking tired I am this morning. I was up for so long yesterday. As far as the wedding yesterday, it went super good. The really unique thing that happened at the wedding was that in between when they were taking pictures and when this reception started, they actually hosted a game of bingo, which I thought was really fun. None of us won anything, by the way, but it was really fun though and it was a really good way to pass the time. And then um, also you guys saw that they had like a little um, portable s'mores bar there too, which I thought was really fun. But yeah, anyways, um, I just have a shit ton of brushes to clean this morning because I did not feel like cleaning them last night. I have like all those that are sitting right over there. Also, I wanted to give this person a really quick shout out because I totally forgot to do it in the last couple of vlogs, but um, there is a person named Gold Shang, I think it's maybe pronounced because I think the X's in Asian countries are pronounced like S's. I'll put her name up on the screen here. <laughs> but at one point in time, like probably about a month or two ago now, which is greatly appreciated. I just completely apologize for not shouting that out earlier. If you guys don't know and want to thank me in like a different way rather than just making comments. Um, I do have super chat and also super thanks. I do really appreciate all of my donations and I'm honestly super, super grateful of it. I gotta go hurry and set up for my client because she's gonna be here in like eight minutes. Just setting up everything. Luckily it only takes me about five minutes to set up, maybe not even. Okay guys, it's about three hours since I talked to you guys last. I feel so 
so terrible about the bridal preview that I had. Okay, let me explain. So my first bride texted me and said she was gonna be about 10 minutes late. And I said, okay, no problem. I think that I can still accomplish a bridal preview in like an hour and 30 minutes. So that would leave me maybe having 15 or 20 minutes extra until the other one showed up. But I ended up nitpicking with the first one and she was fun to talk to and she had a really outgoing personality. So we ran up until like around 11.50. But then my bride for the second bridal preview ended up showing up like 10 minutes early. So she ended up showing up at the same exact time as the other one it was leaving and so I felt like with my first bride I almost kind of was like hurrying her out the door I felt so bad because I was like oh my gosh like usually it's not that rushed my husband and I are leaving for vacation tomorrow and we're going to Tennessee in the Smoky Mountains for a week we're picking up a rental car because it's an eight-hour drive one way and I had to have my husband pick up the car at noon and because of the fact that I was gonna be in the bridal previews I couldn't go with him so I told my husband to bring our insurance card with him with the policy number and guess what he didn't do bring the insurance insurance card with him. Right when I'm about to sit down with my second client, which I've already been running around like a chicken with my head cut off. So what's our policy number for our insurance? And I go, did you forget to bring it? And he goes, uh, yeah. So I went back on the phone and I go, no, like I can't get it. And I was like, I don't know what to do about this. So then um, he's like, well, it's okay because Enterprise said that I can just turn in the insurance card tomorrow. So he has the car, which is good. But then I felt really bad because then I was trying to consult with my bride while I was cleaning up myself from the other person. And then my dog's started going nuts because there was a plane or a helicopter or something that was going over our house and they were all over the place. I've never felt so disorganized for a bridal preview in my whole entire life. Like that was chaotic. And I overall just felt so bad. Like luckily my bride was really, really understanding. I did a really good job at her makeup application, which was good. And she was really happy with it. I just really believe in having a very relaxing, calming environment when my clients get here. And when I can't provide that, it makes me feel stressed about it. But yeah, that is about it for this video though. If you guys did enjoy this video definitely go ahead and give me a big thumbs up as well as subscribing to my channel if you guys haven't already and as always I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to you guys in my next video all right bye